How's it going everybody? We are back at it again. Gonna do it a little bit different this time because this time I'm gonna show you guys how to cook some enchiladas. I'm pretty damn good at drafting, but I'm also pretty damn good at cooking. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we need to do. So the first thing I like to do is kind of lay out all my ingredients. We have an onion, some enchilada sauce. We got both, if you're daring versus if you're a coward. We got some jalapeno bean dip, tomato, ground turkey or beef, whatever you want. Yes, the blend, tortillas, I guess. That's, I mean, I, I guess we can open up some packs as well. I mean, if it's here. All right, I mean, let's, let's open up some packs beforehand. I mean, we'll, we'll get back to the intro, because that'll happen. I just, uh, you got a box in front of you. You kind of got to open it. Like, the, the temptation is too much. All right, some Crucible. It's been a while for Crucible. Here we go. Let's get a few packs in. Let's just, just a little, you know, thing to, oh yeah, wait. There's a little trick to opening these. I totally missed it. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's uh, get something good. Katsu, Choke Slam, a red foil Mavrin Sky. It's not too shabby. Oh, a Majestic, Rune Blood Barrier, and Rushing River. Okay. All right. So we got one Majestic there. Let's open like a couple more. Nothing. All right. Look at that. That's what Crew has. Like these little strips. Did they work super well? Yeah, they were okay. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's get some more packs in here. Consuming Volition, Soul Beat Strike, Riled Up. Woo, look at that, Foil Gorganian Tome. That's really cool. That's a Foil Majestic. And then a High Speed Impact and a Rushing River. Another blue Rushing River, what the hell? All right, that's a pretty good hit. That's a pretty good hit. Maybe we gotta open them all this way. Maybe that's the trick. All right. All right, I'm kinda of getting hungry, so maybe this will be the last pack until we start to cook. Red Consuming Volition. Soul Beast Strike, Out for Blood, Emerging Dominance, Kasai, cause you get rare heroes in this, and Blue Modern Sky. All right, cool. All right, so far, Gorganian Tome. Let's get to cooking. All right, so the first thing every chef does is Get some soap and you know, wash your hands before it. Because you gotta have clean hands to do some cooking. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Get out of here, damn pack. Let's see. Let's see what we got. No, no. Hey, Dash, how's it going? Hi. Uh, red foil consuming volition, righteous cleansing. That's a majestic. All right, anyways, wash your hands. All right, so as mentioned before, you can use any meat, really. Oh, all right, let me check this out. Now we even got a pack in the freezer. Anyways, you can use turkey meat or ground meat, whatever. Man, let's, uh, let's open this pack up. Put this fridge here. I don't know what a cold pack is doing. What a cold pack's even doing in the freezer. Let's see. Oh, these cards are actually a lot colder. <laughs> the, the the wrapper wasn't that cold, but the cards are actually pretty damn cold. Our uh, set clip notes, snapback, predatory soul, blessing strength, Ooh, foil soul beast strike, barrage and bighorn, and promise of plenty. All right. Kind of feels nice on a summer, put it in the back of my neck. Feels good. All right, let's get the meat out. Let's get it thawed. Let's get this meal started. All right, once we get it from the freezer, we're gonna have to defrost it. Just put it in the microwave here and go to, uh, let's see, okay. Just let it, let it ride for a little bit. While we let that meat defrost, let's get some sides for our guests. Let's get some salsa going. So I like to get the, some tomato in there. Let's just chop up the tomato first. Make sure it's secured, pulse the chop. There we go. And we're getting some good chopping in, and maybe just a little bit. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that, oh my gosh, that damn it. Who's putting all these packs everywhere? Oh, whoa, all right, well, hope you guys like uh, salsa-y, tomato-y. Oh my, that poor fucking brutal assault. All right, well, is this the Arknight Shard Pack? 
Well, I hope so. Salt the wound, foil, that's kind of nice, man. Bacall in a Russian river. Don't worry, guys, we didn't lose any big ones. Some packs are getting ripped out here. Um, Eric, I think there's a there's a pack in there. What? A pack. Flesh and blood. In, in the microwave? Yeah, in the microwave. All right, hold on. What the? Oh my gosh. Oh, moly, that's what a microwave does to a pack. Oh my gosh. Well, why didn't you speak up? Are the cards even good? Oh man, that's gnarly. Man, it opens up crispy, guys. This is one crispy pack. All right. The cards seem pretty good, though. So we might still be able to get some good here. All right. Torment. Ooh, a foil edge of autumn. That's kind of cool. Pitfall trap. All right. And crane dance. Two things every chef does. Drink, but since we're on YouTube, I'm not going to do that. And use olive oil to get the pan ready. We got to show the people how it's done. Get in there and what do you think? You know. All right, well, you know what? If this pack's gonna be a part of this, then we're really gonna make it a part of it. Make this sure this heat's on high here because I want us to cook up some good stuff here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting warm. I can feel it. Ooh, look at that. All right, see if it. Woo! It's hot. <laughs> All right, let's open it. I'm. This one's gonna be tricky. All right, all right. Oh, man, it's slippery. It's hot. Okay, I need scissors for this one. Okay, here we go. This is a kitchen cleanup mess. That's for damn sure. All right. Oily, hot pack. Whew. Brutal assault in the pan. In the pan. Ooh, you hear that? Overblast in the pan. In the pan. Bravo. We like Bravo. We'll keep Bravo. Paffing Helix. Cash in. Re reinforce the line. Psst, psst, psst. All right. If, if it's going to keep showing up, we're going to cook with them. Might as well. Once the flesh and blood cards are thoroughly cooked, uh, go ahead and cook your actual meat. Just get it all grounded up. There we go. We're gonna put some onions in it as well. Because we want the meat and the onions to cook around the same time. So let's get working on those onions, get those chopped up. Get some onions chopped up here, take the ends off. We don't want those. And then just kind of cut okay. And you want to get a good stable board to cut your onions on, just so you can get that right chop. That's the chop we want. Once you get your onions all chopped up, then you can open up your pack. And this is still hard to open because I still got those, that damn olive oil on me. There we go. That's a rip. This onion is making my camera person cry. All right. Let's see what we get with this pack that we so lovely chopped into. Foil Bruno Soul, a massacre. And Cindering Foresight, not too bad with that massacre. A little, little onion -y massacre. Oh look, there you go. There's a bit of a, some onion on it, so. All right. We got our onions chopped up. Let's go ahead. Get them in here, cook them with the meat. We got it all cooked through, the onions and meat looks good. Now, let's get on to our enchilada sauce. Come over here, let's use the old can opener. Okay. Oh, that now's catching. There we go, come on, come on. All right, there it is. That's kind of working. All right, we'll get the enchilada sauce open first, then we'll look at this pack. All right, now that we got the sauce out, let's see how the pack did. Look, it even opened it up for us pretty good, not bad. It's a little, a little trick, you know, if you're having a hard time opening up a pack, 
can opener will do. And you get a little gift. Damn, that cut right on through. All right, no red centering foresight, no towering, and then our foil is cash out. You know what, or cash in. I think we're okay getting the rips on those, honestly. Nothing much else. All right, so now we have to kind of set up a workstation. We got our tortillas here. We have this pan here, which we are gonna to use to put the red sauce in. Just like so, get it all covered up through the whole pan. Got our cheese here, and then our meat and onions. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tortilla, get it all messy, flip it over, get it all messy again. All right, we'll get it all messy on this side. And then, well, yeah, all right, well, we're gonna have to deal with that, aren't we? Let's just deal with that first. Gosh, damn it. This kitchen is cursed crucible. It's so hard to open. All right, scissor time. I do not recommend, okay. <laughs> I do not recommend, you know, opening packs with food. But, you know, sometimes you're just put in a position where you have to. All right, let's see. Little Pappy Helix over blast. We're skipping a few cards, that's okay, they're commons. Salt the wound, predatory assault, Dorinthia. Ooh, look at that, foil centauri saber, that's kind of pretty. Reinforce the line and a mandible claw. All right, well, it's a little, little messy mandible claw. No problem, no problem. Get some meat and onions, put that in there, kind of like so. Get some of this cheese out. I should have opened it. Cool. That's why you get a dog, everybody. Let the dog clean up. And then get some cheese on here. <laughs> That's why you gotta have a dog. All right, go ahead. Once you have it all folded up, we'll put it in this here. And then we do that until we fill up the whole damn thing. So we just keep on moving. Okay, now once we have all this done, we'll pour the rest of this red sauce on top. Just get it a little extra. And then I like to put some of the refried beans on top. So let's get that opened up. Should have did this before my hands got extremely messy, but here we are. No packs to open on this one. Can't destroy that arc knife shard now. Okay. It's gonna look like dog food coming out. That's just how it is. You gotta shake it like a shake weight. Oh well, I guess the other thing you can do <laughs> is use the goddamn fork for spoon. There we go, get some of this shit out. All right. <laughs> All right. And then, <laughs> and then we just spread the bean dip across, and the refried beans across here. Get a little bit more. And this is some spicy one, so it's gonna make the, the food real spicy. I, li I like my Mexican food spicy. Finally, the last thing we do, is top it off with some more cheese. It is an enchilada after all. Since Crucible has been so pivotal in this video, let's go ahead and make ourselves a Crucible enchilada, enchilada sauce. Get that in there. All right, now let's get the oven going here. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, gotta get that out. What is a pack doing in the oven, damn it? Okay. Let's get that in there, and then we'll open it back. All right, we're gonna let that stay in for anywhere about 15 to 18 minutes. And I guess we might as well open up the oven pack, which is a little hot to be Not as hot as that pan seared one, but be hot. You can kind of see what it did to the wrapping here. Mm. Ooh, they're nice and warm. A little baked cards, guys? Not a bad idea. Especially in the winter time, if you want to warm up your hands. And opens up some packs. This is how you do it. Flood of Forest. There you go. Kadashi. Why is it a rare Kadashi? That's so lame. 
and oil increase the tension. All right, so as we wait for the enchiladas, we might as well open the rest of this, these packs here. Some of them are a little messy. It was a messy meal, but hopefully messy packs equal good cards. Let's find out. Okay. Now, you guys by now know the drill. All you gotta do is comment on the video what card you want. Send it your way. You can have it. All right, nothing great there. A little hidden run for those Dorinthia players. Okay. Man, I cannot wait for those enchiladas, guys. Fuck. This is a wacky video. That's a pretty good enchilada recipe right there. Take it with heart. So I could research note. Modern Skies, Cinder Foresight. Let's get some good cards here. But yeah, take it from a white guy that grew up with casserole family with a very German last name on how to cook enchiladas. Reinar, foil high speed impact, springboard somersault, and a KO. KO. Someone ran KO and CC at Battle Hard in Portland, which is crazy. But hey, good on them, man. The Koenigs to play a KO and CC. All right, ooh, a foil sledge. All right, Oldham's popping off. This might be a card to grab. Reinforce the line and crane dance. A lot of foil weapons in Crucible. The first supplemental set. All right. Foil over blast, not bad. Mega Neck Shockwave, that's a majestic. And Dauntless. You know what? We gotta use the, the little slip. Okay. This is a good way to pass time. That's for sure. Cracking packs is always a good way to pass some time. Foil riled up yellow. High speed impact. Mavrin skies. Yeah, the one thing about Crucible is that a lot of the rares um, commons are gonna be the same. It's not a very big set. Not a lot of different cards. But, it was a much needed set to give some heroes some boost. Foil Copper, which now they have Cold Foil now. And then Centauri and Rock Slide Trap. Not many legendaries in this set either. Really only Shiana and a Tunic. But boy oh boy, if we can pull a Tunic. Man, I know you, some of you guys are gonna want that. Who blames you? That card is probably the best equipment in the game. Boil Crusher Week, Snag, another Majestic, and Promise of Plenty. Alright. Coming down to the end here. So far, Foil Gorganian Tome is our biggest hit. Let's see what else. Ooh, ooh, a Foil Beast Within, another Foil Majestic. That's not bad at all. That's a good hit. Lunging press, trip rider trap. All right, there we go. It's a good hit. Looks cool too. Go Eye of Sauron. All right. All righty, Viscerai. And foil rushing river, foil rare. High speed impact, plasma barrel shot. If you want to get funky with your with your mechanologist. And all right, this is the second to last pack. Spoiler alert, guys! I'm gonna eat the last one that I made in that enchilada, so we're not opening that up because it's going in my belly. So you better hope that the good cards are here: foil pathing helix, dauntless, and barraging bighorn. Okay, guys, is this the Ark Knight shard? Because if it is, y'all ain't getting it, I'm keeping it. No, I'm joking. It'll be available just like every card is. All right, but let's find out. A slower, a combustible courier, Teclo Vestin Workshop, increased attention, Sutcliffe's Research Nert Notes, Wild Up, Chook Slam, Crushed a Week, our foil is a, 
stuck to this research now. All right, what else are rares? Mauverance guys and Dauntless. Okay, well, all right. Well, here's the Majestix we got. Our big pulls are this Foil Beast Within, Foil Gorganian Tome, Briar, some Eviscerize even run this. And obviously the Brutes love this card. So let us know if you want any of these cards or any of the like other commons or rares or foils that you saw. All right, just pulled out of the oven. That's the final result. A little Tex-Mex Mex enchilada. A little bit of messiness with the cards too. But hey, we got through it. Came out all right. Hopefully it tastes all right. And <laughs> don't follow this recipe if you want some good quality food. See you guys in the next video.